Perfect Ford e Transit. Good Ford Jesus. Drive. And it's what? It's very busy. Oh no. Oh Jesus. <sighs> What's happening, guys? We're outside the gym. We are. It's Thursday morning. Chloe is training, but I'm just going to go in and I'm going to box off a couple of steps because my steps are up to 11k and I have no check-ins on Thursday morning. So whilst Chloe is going training before work, I might as well go in and make myself a little bit useful. Isn't that right, Chloe? Exactly. Okay, let's get it. Right, get foot position right first. Yeah. Good. Back in now, lean back into the seat. Yeah. Good. Easy. Yep. Good. Good, keep moving. Hold that brace at the bottom. Hold it. Hard now. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Yep. Down a bit slower. Come down a bit slower. Catch your breath. Come on. These are the ones. Let's go. A drive. Yep. 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 More there. Come on. Straight in, let's go. And drive, and drive, and drive. Easy, come on, you get another one, it's there. Big brace now, slow on the way down. Control, control, catch your breath. Now brace. And up, 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 up. I'm not touching it, I'm not touching it, I'm not touching it. Good. Very good. All right, so we are back home, little pit stop in Lidl on the way home, just to get about four days worth of shopping, if even. Gonna prep some meals now because I'm actually heading down to Ultrafex Derby today to train pull, but also shoot with Cooper for explosive fibers straight after. So, um, busy day today. It's just about 25 to nine now. So I'm gonna eat something, I'm gonna prep some meals, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna tidy myself up a little bit, because I gotta be photo shoot fresh. And then we're gonna hit the road for Derby because I believe it's about an hour-ish of a drive, depending on the traffic. So I wanna get there nice and early, train, maybe do a couple steps afterwards, and then do the photo shoot. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we have showered, we have freshened up a little bit here, and we're all packed and ready for Ultrafex Derby. So I have obviously got my trusty, Built for Athletes gym bag in here with my tripod. I've also got my meals packed in this meal prep bag, my protein meal prep bag that actually my client Kira gave me because she wasn't using it anymore. So big shout out to Kira if you are watching this. This is the first outing that the meal prep bag is gonna have. However, I will definitely, definitely get very, very good use out of that. A meal prep bag is something that I kind of always wanted to get, but it was just like an oversight. I just never thought of it. I was like, eh, I'll get one of those eventually. Uh, but you know, Kira was clearing out the house and she wasn't using hers, so she gave me mine. So big shout out to you, Kira. You're a legend. Also, we have got the pre-workout meal going in now. So we got 100 grams of Rice Krispies, 100 grams of banana, and 50 grams of whey protein. So. I probably shouldn't have put the whey in before I started recording this clip because my cereal could go a little bit soggy now. But anyway guys, I'm going to eat this meal. I'm going to get on the road and I'll catch up with you when we're at the gym. All right guys, so here we are. We have landed at Ultraflex Gym Derby. Just about got a car parking spot, which is absolutely uh, immense. I came into the car park place absolutely fully, fully fucking jammed uh, until some kind sir pulled away and uh, let me pull into a spot. So happy fucking days. I had to tactically time my uh, monster on the way down as I'm absolutely bursting for a piss now. I drank it at like 20 minutes out so that number one, I wouldn't have to pull over to take a piss. And number two, the caffeine hit me just as I am here. So that's exactly what has happened. Gym looks absolutely mega. It's like pure, clean, fresh black paint, cool Ultrafex signs on the outside. So definitely looking forward to, to actually going inside here. From the outside, 
it doesn't look like it's too big like it goes down fairly far back but um it doesn't look like it's absolutely gigantic anyway but i, I suppose i won't know till i'm actually in here so uh it's 12 o'clock on the button now i'm gonna go in i'm gonna train pull firstly and then cooper should be here at like two o'clock so hopefully i have the chance to actually train pull take the time to like record a little bit of footage um and then maybe box off the remainder of my steps on the treadmill before i have to do that photo shoot because when i drive home and i get home i want to just completely chill out for the evening so we'll catch you in there guys all right guys so i have taken an initial first look around and i am very impressed really really cool atmosphere in here the ceilings are a little bit lower it's a little bit darker it's very clean i really really like it now kit wise i don't think they have as much as ultraflex rotterdam however they've got a couple of different bits so i'm going to try and replicate my session from back home as much as possible but i may make one or two substitutions but as long as i'm doing a vertical pull down a vertical row and a horizontal pull down and a horizontal row that's the pull they've done all right so i haven't been upstairs yet that's probably just all the arm stuff posing room etc but i will take a look up there after i do my main pulling exercises camera battery is almost dead ideal so i might have to record some of this on my phone but it is what it is anyway guys we will get stuck into the session i'm going to start with some hanging leg raises here and then i'll move on to the main exercises all right my people what is up what is up so pull box off at ultraflex derby yesterday very very good session so big fan of the gym i must say kind of dark dungeony kind of vibes in there the leg equipment and kind of where half of the back equipment is it's kind of like covered with a real low ceiling uh, and it's like just really dark really crisp really like a cool atmosphere in there the upstairs is pretty cool and the mezzanine is definitely a lot better than it is in ultraflex so they've got like a boxing ring up there and like a couple of other bits i wasn't actually in the posing room unfortunately because i did the shoot um straight after this session but i did take a good look around and it's a pretty cool gym okay now kit wise it is not as good as ultraflex rotterdam obviously but they are in the early stages of development the gym has only opened up so they do have a lot of space for some more equipment so i imagine it will get a lot better so the exercise you see me doing here is kind of a knockoff of the nautilus single arm lap pull down this is granite, I believe. I actually wanted to use the Atlantis kind of single arm underhand pull down, the newer version that they actually have there. But someone was taking it and I just didn't fancy waiting around for pieces of equipment today. So I just hopped on this. Now, I didn't really like it because I had to set the seat up very high. And as you can see here, when I'm pulling my elbow back, it's kind of coming like above my pocket rather than right in at my pocket where I ideally wanted to. And my hand is coming a little bit too close to my torso. So that didn't really feel the best. Um, also, when I first walked around the gym, I thought this was an Arsenal strength T-bar, the Humbler, but it was not, it was a Watson T-bar which is probably like one of the worst T-bars out there. But anyway, this was what I chose for my upper back row. Um, wasn't the best equipped for back. I probably had the worst session to train in Derby because it looked okay for a push and pretty fucking decent for legs. They've got some nice leg kit in there. But then for pull, they were pretty limited. So um, I just did what I fucking could, to be honest. Still got a good session in, to be honest. Um, was working in with this dude here um, for this exercise. Pretty jacked, actually. Don't know who he is, but he was, uh, he was pretty jacked. Next up, we have a single arm row. Now I use the Nautilus Nitro kind of machine for this. This is like a compound row it was called. So kind of similar to the seated um, Nautilus Nitro row that we have in Ultrafex, but a little bit different because you're sitting down and it's at a lower angle. So I was going to use what I normally have in my plan, which is like the gym shop row. So basically like the Nautilus plate loaded knockoff. They did actually have one in this gym, but I don't think it was like the no explode and like knock off i think it was the granite one again which i used for the single arm that pulled on so i was like fuck that that granite piece was shit for the first exercise so i'm not going to use it for the third exercise so did this and it was it was pretty good to be honest now lastly moved on to this i have never used this standard plate loaded lap pull down from prime but i really really fucking like this okay so this last exercise was actually meant to be like my vertical kind of upper back pull down variation but this is pretty much a lat movement right but this absolutely blew up my lats as you can see here as i'm coming down right my elbows aren't fully tucked they're kind of flaring out when i get to the bottom but just with this neutral grip position and coming in a little bit closer honestly i felt this really blow up my lats as you can kind of see here my elbows are coming down in front of me but then slightly back so i am getting a little bit of an upper back um, connection and engagement at the end here and i think this is just so different to what i normally do right for pull 
that I really, really enjoyed it, right? And uh, this piece was pretty light. I did like four plates for tops of here for like 10 plus reps. I did three plates for like maybe 14 or 15 reps afterwards. But this fucking lit my back up. I'm a big fan of this. I wish they had this in Ultrafix. They have like the pin loaded version, which I think has been um, refurbished now at the moment. But I really, really like that one. Now, next up, Nautilus Rear Delt Fly. Believe it or not, they have this in Ultrafix Rotterdam. I've never fucking used it. And I just fancied it today for something different. And I fucking loved it. Oh my God, this was fantastic. I went kind of undershot on the loading here because I was a little bit unsure of it, but I ended up getting like 17 reps and this really, really fucking blew my rear delts up. So um, I might actually sub out my prime reverse pec deck for this because that niggly shoulder injury that I keep telling you about on the reverse pec deck, I kind of feel that flare up a little bit. Whereas I felt absolutely zero pain in that kind of tendon here using this and uh, it just blew up my rear delts. So maybe it was just a novelty, maybe it's just a really good piece, but definitely a big fan of this. So I think I'm gonna start using this in, uh, in Ultraflex Rotterdam now. I think I'm due a couple of training adjustments, to be honest, I've kind of been running the same things up for a long time. So once we wrap up this dieting phase, I'm definitely gonna ask Kuba to make a, like a full fucking overhaul of the, of the training. Now, this piece I really fucking liked, okay? This is a Jim Leco bicep curl, so you can actually adjust the chest pad. So I was able to adjust the chest pad into a really comfortable position. One thing I don't like about preacher curls is the way that you have to like bend over some of them, but I could push the chest back chest pad nice and far back here get really good stability and then you can do this single arm or dual arm but obviously honestly with the way it kind of like converged i could do a dual arm and i felt really really good so i did like three sets on this and just dropped the weight quite considerably as i moved along as it is pretty heavy and uh i got a really good pump off this really really like this so pretty rare piece i imagine um by jim leco but pretty good jim leco stuff is is pretty decent i must say so just kind of checking myself out here a little bit just to make sure my uh Small arms and shoulders are actually in frame. Just finished off here with like a single arm bicep curl. Um, nothing really special here, guys. I was gonna go back downstairs and do the dumbbells and I said, fuck it, I'm upstairs anyway. I'll just do a cable curl. And literally after I finished recording this set, Cooper just walked up the stairs afterwards and all I had to do was like my right arm to finish off and that was it. That was the session wrapped up. So we shot a couple of shots in that little uh, boxing ring, as you can see there from the background. Didn't get any footage for that, to be honest, but uh, I might get the pictures back soon. Must uh, text Cooper and see how, he, how, he's, how he's doing with those. But uh, got a little cameo from him here now in a minute, so enjoy that. He's uh, making the big time lately. There he is, boys. Just expect 10 quid a minute for the video. <laughs> <laughs> Guest appearance. Guest appearance. We haven't linked up since, what, January? January. January. Yeah. yeah. Pon, pon explosive fiber shoot. Yeah. Cooper, Cooper's in the, the big time now. In He's the new... Ma okay. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no press. No press. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of bits here. Cheese. I don't know where the rest of stuff is. You take so, the mic if you can do talking. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just going to do a little bit, a little bit of a talk. Don't want to spend too much time because we actually have a good couple of bits to uh, actually film here. Or yeah, film? Yeah. Film? Shoe. Baggy goods, mate. So, here we go. Pawn it. Yes, guys. How are we doing? So, shoot has been wrapped up. I'm just sitting in the car now, giving myself a second to digest the post-workout meal that I just did, and then I'm going to hit the road. So, I actually made a pretty good time. I've trained and we've done the shoot, and it's only 25 to 3. So, I'm hoping I'm not going to hit any traffic now on the way back. I did actually bring an extra meal with me, just in case, but I don't even think I'm going to need to eat it. I think I'll probably get home in time and have a little bit of time to chill. Uh, we got some very, very nice pieces today. Um, I'm actually wearing one of them here now, uh, but I will show you what they are probably when I get home. And I also got a Better Bodies order waiting for me at home as well because I have very, very little like tank tops for the gym and Ultrafex is like a fucking sauna lately. So um, I've been like, going through, churning through like all the tank tops I actually own because I don't actually own that many. Um, Cause I, I didn't really like wearing tank tops there for a long time. I didn't really like looking at myself in the gym. I preferred to stay a little bit covered up, um, but there's staying covered up and then there's staying covered up being absolutely sweating. And I'd rather not stay covered up and not be sweating and let some heat out to be perfectly honest. So got a couple of tank tops off Better Bodies and a couple of nice, nice bits of explosive fibers there. So nice fresh clothes on I me mean, now after I train as well, which is fucking absolutely lovely. And um, there is nothing better when you're training in sweaty, sweaty clothes. So gonna hit the road now, guys, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Yes, yes, how are we doing? So it is the next day, guys. I'm feeling 
pretty fucking wrecked after yesterday, if I'm perfectly honest, even though I probably don't sound like I am, but I like to bring the energy to the vlogs, you know what I'm saying? So we seen a big drop in body weight this morning, 0 0.75 of a kg down, so nearly two pounds lost. We're sitting at 101.85 this morning, so I was kind of waiting for that drop. Like we made some heavy adjustments earlier on during the week. So basically we upped T4, we upped T3, we upped the clean, and we pulled the food down, okay? So made adjustments across the board and we up steps as well, right? So adjustments across all areas and I was expecting to see a big shift and my body weight was kind of holding for about three or four days and then all of a sudden, boom. But I did do 14,610 steps yesterday. So uh, definitely more than my scheduled in 11K, but look, it's all good. So definitely feeling the effects of that now today. Um, still have 11K steps to do today. I've about six done so far, uh, but I'm just gonna get those done and just try and chill out for the rest of the evening and just mentally and physically freshen myself up for a big fucking leg day tomorrow. We got Nitrum leg press round two tomorrow. So definitely looking forward to that. Um, but we're in a good spot, we're in a good spot. I think things are starting to definitely trend upwards in terms of like how I'm feeling, um, how I'm sleeping, my appetite, etc. Thank fuck, you know, we've got another three and a half weeks or three and a bit weeks scheduled in this dieting phase still. And one of the biggest concerns I had was my appetite, right? Because after like six, seven weeks dieting, it just wasn't really any different. But now I feel like it's finally starting to pick up, which is good. And I think, 102 kg is kind of like lean for me, but below 100 is like lean lean. So I know by the end of this phase, I will be like pretty lean lean, uh, be in a good position. And honestly, the push up off the back of that, I'm genuinely not concerned about weight this time around. I really just want to preserve my body composition, preserve my fitness, preserve my health, um, and take my body weight up nice and fucking slowly. So I need to get my bloods done. I think I'm actually, I was going to get them done this Sunday, but I think I'm actually gonna wait until I'm finished the diet and I'm four weeks into my push-up, as that'll be like the midway point of the cycle and I'll be back in like a surplus and stuff like that. So I'm gonna wait until around then, I think, just to kind of see where my bloods are, to give me like the green light for the, the second half of the cycle. So that's the plan of action. Um, in terms of where everything is sitting at, I'll get it up for you here now. Um, so meal plan, actually, I have it on this other tab over here, don't I? My, my food is actually pretty low and it's funny like, cause my appetite isn't great, but Training day calories, 3,352. Rest day calories, 2538. I'm actually gonna just pop just a little like thing of my macros up on the screen here now. So believe it or not, my rest day calories right now are actually lower than they were at the very end of prep. I believe, right? I'm not 100% certain with that, but I, th I, th I thought my calories, my training day calories definitely didn't go below 3,000, right? And my rest day calories, I think could have been 2,700, but maybe they were like, 2,300, I'm not sure, but anyway, they're pretty fucking low at the moment, and obviously my fats are pretty low, um, as you can see, so I made that fuck up there like last week where I forgot to eat my dark chocolate for a couple of days, and then we just didn't add the fats back in, so fats are super low, honestly, I'm kind of feeling like the mental effects of that, I feel like when I don't have high fats in my diet, I just feel a little bit off, so when we fucking wrap up this phase, I'm getting him to jack my fats straight back up to like 60 plus grams on both days. I miss having like dark chocolate or nut butter in with like my oats meals and like shit like that. I have like no fats, no direct fats in my diet other than mince. Mince is like my only fat source and everything else is trace fats, like fat from oats, one gram of fat from fucking rice, etc. So very, very minimal, very, very minimal on the fats. But uh, look, things are working. Physique is looking sharper and sharper. Uh, I think I'm getting like a touch flat now after like the seven and a half week mark. And uh, I definitely think with how Everton has been ramped up this week, when I do take those checking photos this Sunday, um, I probably will drop down maybe to like mid 101s, potentially even low 101s if, you know, Everton keeps kind of trending the way it's trending. Um, and we'll see what I look like. We'll see what I look like. So that is the update, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And lastly, I'm just gonna leave you with this here. So my four weeks free coaching guide and lecture series has now gone live. So if you are interested in signing up for that, then hit the link below in the bio, just fill in your name and email and you will get sent everything that you need for that. So there is free training plans in there. There's also a full breakdown on how to set up your nutrition and your timeline, no matter what your goal is, no matter whether you're whale, male, whale, <laughs> no matter whether you are a male or a female, 
the works, right? This is as comprehensive as I could make it. It's taking you through the whole entire process that I actually use when I am assessing a client and setting up their diet and setting up their training and everything that they actually need to make progress. So a very useful free resource for anyone who is interested. Just hit the link below or alternatively go onto my Instagram and you can hit the link there and just fill in your details and you will get that sent that immediately. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll chat to you in the next one.